Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Yahweh is the true, almighty, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. In His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Bahashem, meaning in the name, Racha, meaning spirit, Kodash is holy. Of course, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, who were well in peace and salutation, all sincere Achim, the brothers, well, Achwathium, the sisters that are listening and learning in all truth and sincerity. The brother Mafa from Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp coming again with another lesson due to Rechak Wadash, due to Holy Spirit. And of course, a disclaimer we at Great Millstone do not identify nor are we connected with any black extremists nor black Hebrew Israelites. We are Hebrew Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, or Native Americans. And we are um, here to, of course, prophesy, which say before, all right, we are the people of the Bible, uh, that holy people that were set apart from all the other nations, and that's simple as that. All right, um, I'm going to go into this we lesson. This is going off of uh, BCC, or yeah, bccnews.com, and it's here. If you can see upon the screen, if it can focus, Let's see if it can focus. Give it one moment. It may not focus, but if anything, I could put a screenshot. But anyway, it says here Zimbabwe crisis, our currency crisis, no cash, no bread. So, la uh, you got no, la -a, no, no cash, and. <sighs> And no bread. All right, our, uh, the, the Hebrew word, I believe, for cash or money, right, which is silver, is, uh, I believe, is kasapium. All right, kasapium. La'a lacham. All right, no bread. And no KFC, <laughs> which KFC we know is Kentucky Fried Chicken. All right, so we're going into this real quick. It says, many shops have run out of essential items like bread. A deepening unease is settling over Zimbabwe as the country's fragile local currency loses value at an alarming speed. Prices soar, local and foreign businesses close their doors, and the people w wonder whether their savings are about to be wiped out once again as they were during the economic collapse and spectacular hyperinflation that toured through the country a decade ago, in which you have to understand that these things were prophesied to happen, okay? This is the book of Second Edges 15 and 1. It says, Behold, speak through in the ears of my people, which are the Hebrew Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Of course, since our people have been scattered abroad, our people come looking like the rest of the nations, but their spirit bear witness that they're Israelites. So this is not just a... This is not a black and white thing. This is a thing about the Racha, the spirit. But that flesh goes back to a Hebrew Israelite. Simple as that. There's no such thing as a spiritual Israelite. Going on, it says, Which I will put in thy mouth, saith Yahweh, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And it says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Which that's dealing with the lack of faith of people. Okay? that speak against thee and many people of course speak against us all right you have it here in this day and age people label us as these um black extremists the fbi and such they they call us that they got us under that umbrella and that's of course a way to slander us but we know exactly who we are we are the men of the lord coming back in the regeneration that meaning back of course in the flesh all right Re reincarnation all right it says, Behold, the Lord said, The Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, sword, famine, death, and destruction. And which part of this has uh, been spoken, which is right here, we're, we're going into not only a lack of, of money, all right, our, our kasapium, slach, all right, silver, money, but we also have a, a lack of lacham, uh, our bread, okay, or a call, all right, food, all right. It says, we are suffering. Inflation is too much. Every minute, every hour, every day, the prices are just changing, said the wholesale trader who did not want to give his name. KFC has closed its local outlets, citing these difficult times. 
while supermarkets have been rationing some items and mining companies and other key exporters are complaining about a lack of access to foreign exchange reserves i'm very worried it's going to be like in 2008 since you can go back in 2008 had a big financial crash uh, especially here in america which these bankers went and um they called it a bailout all right these big corporations and it did it, it did nothing but damage of course the economy all right which is going to lead towards this bubble bursting okay it says i'm worried it's just going to be like in 2008 or maybe worse it says grace chits chita barra which a nurse waiting in her car in a mile long queue for petrol which is you going into the fuel and capital so so you, you know you're going to have that in the times of the end it's going to be everywhere though where people are going to have a lacking of all of these resources which were in abundance but because the so-called white man who's esau edom is ruling and his 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 kingdom is coming down to its end yahweh al shai is bringing him down all right incrementally and ultimately so-called white man is going to bring forth this rfid microchip which is the mark of the beast okay i'm going to go into another scripture which is going to be i believe in the book of second address as well and we're going to go into uh let's see i'm going to go to i could start here really this is second address all right, I'm going to start 16 and 18, and it's our 17. It says, woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days. All right, and this is the prophet, slach, for the camera missing his focus. This is the prophet, all right, uh, Ezra, all right. He's saying this, okay, having the vision and such, seeing it, seeing the end. And slach for the, the camera, unless losing his focus. But going on, it says, the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. And that's these Edomites, you know, seeing, you know, these elite Edomites, all right, so-called white men, all right, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, and these huge um, banking families, all right, they're seeing their, their kingdom crumbling right before their eyes, all right, and they're standing in fear. They see, of course, us waking up to our heritage that we Hebrew Israelites and we're prophesying against them, okay? Going on, it says, what shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine, plague, and tribulation, anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. For, but it's like it says, verse 20. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be mindful of the scourges. And you have it here. Like, nobody are going back and turning on to Yahweh Shem Shai. Or even uh, calling upon the name of Yahweh Shem Shai other than the elect. These people uh, have it right here on the airwaves on the unicorn which is the, uh, the internet us of course putting this truth and breaking down everything that's a current in society and though they do not of course hearken but it's only for a lack all right a remnant going on it says behold the rituals shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case and even shall great evils grow upon the earth sword famine and great confusion and that's what we have here you know here today you know, we have nothing but great confusion, especially being within Great Babylon. All right, I'm going to continue on and read. It says, concern is rising up among with prices. You, you, you go into like uh, hyperinflation and such. You know, you have it where an item was uh, once at a price. They're going to raise that price. Okay, triple the, you know, whatever. It depends on how, how much is the demand. All right. Is, is this going to go score sky high above what is actually worth? Okay. It, but in the, in the times that are at hand and such, they like when there's a lack of these different items, okay, toiletries, uh, petrol, fuel, and such, these commodities will be very expensive. All right. Now, going on, it says that um, concerning is rising among the prices following a, a series of unexpected government announcements regarding plans for new 2% 2, 2 tax on money transfers and for possibly possible changes to con, 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 controversial local currency, which has been pegged, plagued one to another to the U.S. dollar. F 
fuel imports stopped abruptly, trading has been badly affected, and many businesses have stopped accepting the local bond notes, what known as the Zollers or the Zimbalers. So you have it here, like certain places, they're not here being here in Zimbabwe and such. They they're not accepting these uh, monetary uh, notes, these uh, fiat currencies and such. It says known as yeah, stock, and it says which black marketers are now valuing at four or even five to the U.S. dollar. It says digging up the hole. It says there's no need for panic. Insisted Energy Mud taught the, the deputy information minister of with the governing of Zanyu PF. What we're seeing is simply the result of a spectacular behavior. People started to hoard, but this should normalize in a few days. Zimbabweans need to know they are safe under the Zanyu PF. The government is committed to reforms, so we need people to really be patient. And I mean, when you have it, people all right, but depending in this damn government, which we can't depend in the so-called white man who's a liar, okay? He's just going to tell you what you want to hear, okay? Sweet words and such, okay? But really, you know, you that are, are listening, you have to understand um, if you are humble and sincere, all right, and you, your, your heart, I mean, your mind resonates with this truth, it may be because you are of the elect. If you you go back to Hebrew, there's a light or, uh, heritage, all right, back to a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, all right? But it's all due to Rechak Kodash. Now, I'm going to go into some more scriptures, because this is all due to spirit power, Yahweh by Shemir Shai, because um, I had certain scriptures written down. <sighs> okay, <sighs> give me one moment. I got these wee mosquitoes. To fly in a boat, which the so-called white man, of course, is bringing about these different plagues with uh, genetically even engineering, uh, making gen genetically modified organisms, uh, messing with humanity. Okay, these insects and such, and just to, to bring forth these spread of these diseases. But anyway, this is uh, going to be the book of Ecclesiasticus six and two okay i'm gonna go and get it actually right now out of my physical scriptures and it says here book of Sirach, six and two it says exalt not thyself in thine own heart which is your own mind as is written in the scriptures um who was it uh roughly paraphrasing the heart is desperately wicked who can who can know it okay uh, going on, it says that thy soul be not torn in pieces as a bull strain alone. OK, so you're not supposed to go on your own counsels right now. You have men that are set up. You know, the Lord hasn't moved uh, our, our teachers into a corner anymore. He has the others and apostles and, um, of course, the brothers on down that's teaching the, uh, the doctrine properly, rightly and correctly. OK, he has that counsel, you know, which. We're telling you, of course, to trust in your how about Shemiah Shai and get right and repent. And of course, meaning repent, meaning to look back sorrowful, all right, and return to your heritage that you're a Hebrew Israelite and not a niggard and such. All right. But going on, it says, thou shalt eat up thy leaves and lose thy fruit and leave thyself as a dry tree. It says a wicked soul shall destroy him that hath it and shall make him to be laughed to scorn of his enemies it says here this is a good precept right here verse 5 Sirach 6 and 5 and it says sweet language will multiply friends a f and a fair speaking tongue will increase kind greetings which we know that the so-called white man does use this sub sub in subtility okay very craftily you know with he, he of course seen buddy buddy with you you know in, in the case of in, the, in uh, perilous times He's trying to offer up these these different solutions, which he's going to bring that RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. OK, to you, you have to know not you have to know to reject it because it's going to sound very sweet. It's going to seem alluring. But if you know the scriptures, you know, that's, of course, only to your destruction. All right. Which um, a lot of y'all also have to understand that 
you can't, of course, trust in prepping and all of that, too. Okay, as here, I got here, Sirach 5 and, and 8. It says, set not thine heart upon goods unjustly gotten, for they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. Okay, in which, I mean, we know that Jake do go about, they get it how they live. You know, they'll go and get stuff. But you have to, the point being is that when when that when that time coming when when all hell break loose, all right, you are gonna have to solely de rely on your by Shimmy Ashai, which is gonna be your God. All right, but it says here, I'm gonna read it again. It says, "Set not thy heart upon thy goods going upon goods unjustly gotten." Which all right, you know, you, it says in the scriptures, "Thou shalt not steal." All right, it says, "For they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity." In which the so-called white man is, uh, he, he's. Definitely in violation of the scripture. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go into this uh, some more. It's, uh, this is Zephaniah 2 and 3. It says, Seek ye Yahweh, all ye meek of the earth. All right. And the meek of the earth, the lowly, that's, of course, the nation of Yashal of Israel, but the elect. Okay. Because it's only the elect that's going to seek Yahweh Yashai. It says, Which have wrought his judgment, seek righteousness, seek meekness, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of Yahweh's anger, which that's in the day of the Lord, all right, which is quickly coming upon us, is approaching, okay? Um, let me see. I'm going to go now. I may read some more from these scriptures, all right? Um, I mean, actually, for Slach, from this article, and Slach, if this uh, camera keep going on let me see if I could get a a clear visual of this article can't really see but it is what it is yeah so going to it like they have images of course of uh, like famine and such all right shelves being empty okay these are all been written in the scriptures all right um, now it says here that um I'm, I'm just gonna skip it says the crisis has led to a fuel or shortage of fuel with motorists having to queue for petrol and that's going into of course them lines them lining up all right for fuel okay uh it says also there's an enormous deficit of trust a lack of confidence mr Hack Karavati acknowledged Slaki if I got the pronunciation mixed up but he believes the government must be given more time and that sharp fluctuations in the world va value of the local bond are inevitable and perhaps unnecessary we have to accept that there will be a currency adjustment prices for a lot of non-essential items in particular are going to increase we are in tough times ahead but governments do turn a new leaf and think they should be given a chance to show what they can do things can change and turn around all right um i'm gonna uh and that's that's obviously a lie the so-called white man uh you know he put all right uh so this is uh gonna be the book of second address as well the 16th chapter i'm gonna skip to 30 verse uh, 16 and 39 it says even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world shall mourn in sorrows um, shall come upon it on every side oh my people hear my word make you ready to the battle and in those evils shall the and those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth all right, so you're going to be going about, you know, when the time of Jacob trouble, when all hell break loose, which you read, of course, in the book of Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, I believe at the 7th verse, if I'm not mistaken. All right, you're going to be as a pilgrim. It says, he that selleth, let him be as he that flee, flee, fleeth away, and he that buyeth as one that will lose. He that occupieth merchandise as he that hath no profit buy it, and he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. He that soweth as if he should not reap. 
as, so also he that planted the vineyard as he that shall not gather grapes. And that's how it's going to be. All right. And that's and we're at that time right now, as you see in other places. OK, it says they that marry as they that shall get no children and they that marry not as the widowers. And therefore, they that labor, labor in vain. All right. And it, it's clear right there. OK, because this this eclipse is going to happen over overall. It's not going to be. A solution other than that RFID microchip due to so-called white man, which he's saying claiming, but that's not the solution. The solution is Yahweh Shem Yashai putting an end to the system. All right. It says, for strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods and overthrow their houses and take their children captives. For in captivity and famine shall they get children. And they that occupy their merchandise with robbery and they and it's like it says, the more they deck their cities and their houses and their possessions, their own, own persons, the more I will be angry with them for the, their sin, saith Yahweh. All right. And that's basically it. It's locked in for the camera. Going, uh, mixing out of focus. Just, of course, going to the spirit. Hopefully you're edified. Call Allah. You're like Yahweh. Shabbat 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 Shabbat